Let's talk about the BYU Cougars and Kalani Sataki. Now, last year, you want to talk about a schedule break in the right way? Oh, boy. They, I mean, everything was perfect last year. You got your quarterback back. You got a bunch of dudes back. God, they beat the hell out oh, of teams. Everybody. All, they, well, almost everybody, right? Coastal and UTSA. They, that I was mean, it. They That's the only two that were close. hell out of teams early on. They look like the best team in the country. Like, people were comparing them to Alabama. And now, here's the thing. They were a P5 team that had to play an independent schedule last year. That's right. They did not get to play a single P5 team no, all season. Yeah, no P5 team would jump out of conference and play them. So they went 11-1 and one last year. They went 7-6 and six the year before that. So, of course, everybody was super excited. Oh, this is great. Here's the downside of that. Okay. Number 127 in returning production. Yeah. Now, and, and that, by the way... Normally, there's 130. Three teams didn't play last year, so this is literally dead last. Sure. 32%. Yeah. That matters. It's going to matter. But let me tell you something. This is not a school that's replacing all those guys with 18-year-olds. No, there's 28-year-olds with two kids and a wife. Yeah. No, these guys have been married maybe, for 10 years. Well, yeah. Like, this is, like this, is the, this is what you're dealing with. These are... Gr- these are grown-ups that are taking these places. I think they're going to be okay. They're going to be inexperienced, and it's going to cost them a game or two. But it's not going to take them from an 11-win team to a 7-win team. I just don't think that. SP Plus and FPI both have them projected at 7-5. and five. Yeah, I know they do. Uh, the win total is 6.5. Yeah. The over and the under are both juiced at minus 115. Uh, they lost their offensive coordinator they last did. year, Jeff Grimes. He went to Baylor with yep. uh, with your boy Aranda. Well, they have um, to play Baylor. Yes, they do. Uh, they do not have a decided quarterback starter. No, yet. not yet. They will though. I mean, on defense, early. twenty-seven. Di- this is how bad they were beating teams last year. Twenty-seven yeah. different players played a hundred plus snaps. Uh, so that could help the big losses. That's right. for sure. Um, seven P five opponents this year. Four top forty opponents. This is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I think they can get to seven wins, though. I, I just them, I got them going under. Uh, so I got them going over. I, I mean, got I them just going do. under. I, I think I think some of these teams are playing aren't aren't great. They're not world beaters. Oh, I, I tend to agree with that, but I, I I do think six and six is is where I've got them. That's okay, where I've got them. That's fine. That's fine. And, and, and it's that's not probably, one of my favorites. Yeah, no, six and six or seven and five. I'm I'm right there. Do I think they'll just find a way? To get to seven wins? To get to seven wins to win a coin flip game? Yeah. Yeah, I could buy that. You know? I could buy that. I'm going to go with the under. You're going the over. And that leads us to... Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.